Coach, what time did you wake up this morning? What did you have for breakfast? Did you get a workout in? And what time did you get here? Are you ready for today? Woke up about 5. Um, I was ready for today all night. Didn't sleep much at all. And um, had, had a cup of coffee. Ready to go? Got my blow pop. <laughs> get a chance to watch the guys compete. Ready to roll. A lot of these guys seem really perched up, really excited to get out here. Um, is that something you kind of try to instill through the pre-spring workouts? Well, it's just making those guys appreciate what they have. You know, all those guys came to Florida State to, to win championships, to get a, to get a degree, and um, just making sure they don't get away from that, go back to the way they felt when they decided to come here. And, and we need to live each and every day that way when we're here. So taking pride, you got to go out there and work, take pride in it, have fun doing it, and, and, and try to win. Coach, you talked about competition. Uh, how do you set a depth chart and how important is it right now for guys um, out there? Right now it's like an organizational chart, you know, that's going to move around. There's no depth chart this spring. You know, it's going to move around. It's fluent. It can move daily. You know, so uh, I think we start off with guys with experience that's played and gone through the chase and done everything the way we needed them to do. And, and then from that point on, it's, it's just competing and moving daily. Can't have a bad day. What's it like for you to just put that gear on and come out here and know that you're Me leading? Me putting the gear on? Yeah. Oh. No, I'm talking about the FSU oh, stuff. I've had it on for three months now. I, been... I know, but I'm saying to take the field with these guys oh. and know that you're your head coach here at Florida State. Um, it's great. You know, excited. Uh, like I said, I couldn't sleep at night. Ready to roll, ready to go out here and watch these guys compete. And, and, um, well, it's football. Well, they going, going back to the accountability that you're trying to instill here, did you kind of notice with the players that they're maybe pointing fingers at, you know, the old coaching staff or each other maybe after how last season kind of ended? No, um, I, I wouldn't necessarily say um, pointing fingers or anything. I know a lot of guys have, have uh, taken ownership in, in the way um, that we performed last year. And that's how it should be. It's, it's a team effort. You know, we don't do it as a team. It's the way it is. You shouldn't point fingers at anyone. So, uh, I think our guys understand that. At least we're trying to get them to understand this team and we want our players to understand that they got to play for each other, uh, first and foremost. If they do that, uh, they'll take care of a lot of the, the issues that we do have. Well, you mentioned competing a lot yesterday. Mm -hmm. Could you get a sense for guys how they compete during the, the, the oh, yeah. winter conditioning? Or? Oh, yeah. I, um, I think our football team, that's one thing they love to do is, is, is compete. You know, whenever you put them in a competitive situation, they're having fun and, and they get out there. You know, they I don't care how much running we have to do or whatever. If they're competing at it, they're enjoying it. So um, I, I do think our football team loves to compete, and, and that's exciting as a coach, you know. So um, now I'm ready to see them do it after taking some coaching and go out there and continue to compete. James was talking about how uh, he's took in some of the plays and, and kind of worked them in during seven on seven. I guess uh, how much of the playbook did you kind of release to the players and for them to start working on a little bit before this? Um, it wouldn't. I wouldn't say uh, we released any playbook because we were getting it together as a staff, you know, but um, a lot of the plays that these guys are running, I mean, they ran them last year. They had some of the same plays. We all run the same plays. It's just um, going about it, going about it a different way, you know. You, it's pretty cool because you can ask James, okay, what did you guys call this last year? And he said, and then you can talk to him a little bit in those terms or, um, Maybe you as a coach to say, let's put it in those terms. You know, they already know it, and that's the play for them. So um, that's been helpful for all those guys. Can you sense the energy of how excited these guys are to get back to work? Uh, yeah, I sense that all, all uh, winter condition. You know, the way they've been working and performing and doing the things that we asked them to do. Um, um, it's there. You know, these guys want to win. They want to do things the right way, and um, we got to continue to um, help them and teach them. And, um, stay on them daily to do those things the right way and they'll get the result that they're looking for. Well, how important is it for you, for you for them to have fun? Marvin just said sometimes last year it felt like a job and now it feels more like just football and having fun. Well, you, it's, it's, I think it's all those things. I think you just got to have them all personally. You know, I just, that's just me, who I am, and what I'm all about. I don't believe in doing anything and not having fun doing it. Big on quotes, as you know. And, uh, <laughs> Ralph Emerson said, "Nothing great happens without enthusiasm." You know, so, um, um, I believe in that, and want our guys to be that way daily. But make sure that we're getting to work in. You know, we're not gonna come out here and, and, and substitute fun over fundamentals and technique. You know, we're gonna do our work and do it, and we're gonna coach hard and aggressive and, 
Uh, but we want to have fun when you make plays and be excited about it. That's what the coach wants. What are some of the challenges to installing the, the tempo uh, for guys that haven't done it that much? Um, it's going to be some mistakes. Um, we have some guys line up, uh, probably not all the way on size, and um, make a couple of false starts here and there. And you want to try to minimize that as much as you can. And uh, but you'll get some of those things just because you're going fast. You got to think a little faster. So, um, but uh, I don't think we have a lot in to, to see a lot of those issues. At least I hope not today. And um, but it, it'll be fun. They'll, they'll pick up on it pretty quick. What do you do to make sure that those guys do have fun and do keep it lighthearted? Although you still want to want to work hard. I don't know, like I say, celebrate. And you do something. Coach asks you to do something, you do it the way he wants you to. Celebrate. Have fun with it. Just don't get me a flat. Pretty simple. Willie, uh, you talked about uh, DeAndre and Bailey yesterday and uh, uh, needing to win over their teammates as quarterbacks. How do they kind of do that? Um, they got to get to know their teammates uh, on a personal level, you know, and, and and do things let their teammates know that they're going to be there with them through thick and thin, through good and bad, and, uh, and that they'll do whatever for their football team. You know? and, and that takes time and that takes work. And that takes the work that those guys have to put in. A couple more for Coach. A couple. You looked at his clock, man. You looked at his watch. Let's get one more. Uh -oh. We got to get to the guys. <laughs> A couple, couple guys, so Carlos Becker on crutches. How are you guys doing health wise coming in? Um, I think we're um, um, healthy as you're going to be this time of year. You know, we got some guys that got some uh, had some injuries that they needed to get taken care of, and uh, and that's happened. And now they're rehabbing, and and uh, we will have them back to training camp. The guys that came coming off of surgeries like Dickerson, are those guys available? Uh, I think some of them you'll see within uh, throughout uh, spring ball, and some of them you won't see. Thank you.